guys, my name is Tina and today we are going to do this makeup tutorial. It's my everyday makeup look for the past two to three months now. I've been doing this very, very simple makeup every time and that's why I haven't been really posting a lot of my selfie of the days or makeup of the days because it's been just really this look, honestly. And I don't know, I've just been lazy and I've been just focused on lashes. Like I go thicker or I go simple, that's just it. And then I also just go through different kinds of nude shades but this is my favorite go-to right now from foundation to lipstick everything is my go-to products so when all that said let's just go on to the tutorial as usual start with a clean face and since my skin has been really dry I'm using the Clinique moisturizer and I'm also going to use prep and prime for my base today apply it all over the face up to your neck and for my foundation, this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. I'm using the Miss Bella PH brush. I've been using this ever since I got it. It's really nice, really affordable. You should get one. I'm just dotting it all over my face and then blending it, you know, basic foundation application. It's not exactly matte, but I like it anyways because I can just powder it if I ever get too oily, but it does give me a very natural finish. To highlight the center of my face, I'm just using Boing in number one. This brush is from Beauty Cosmetics and I like this concealer because it's really thick. It'll brighten the center of your face. It's so natural and it's also kind of sweat proof because of the oils in the cream. So I like it. To set everything, I'm just using my Laura Mercier Loose Powder. It's very staple. It's never gonna change. Well, it's probably gonna change, but as of now, this is what I use. And I'm setting everything, also my eyelids, just to get rid of the oil there. So it's easier to apply my eyeshadow later. Moving on to brows, I'm just going to brush it with a spoolie and I'm going to spray my brush with this aloe vera spray that I got from Korea. And from the color it palette, I'm using that dark brown right there. I think it's called Not Today. And I've been using this a lot for my brows only because I like how dark and full of pigment it is. And ever since that I turned brunette again, I just find it so perfect with my hair color. And for my shadow, I'm basically just using this color on my crease. I think just super blend your lang sha on the crease quite thickly or thinly. It's up to you guys. I kind of go a little bit high because I have semi hooded lids, so I kind of go a little bit higher. But it's basically yun lang. And then I just put a little bit of the nude color when I feel like it in the middle part. But then I also go back with it with my blending brush because I don't want it too bright in the center. I just really want it kind of colored. And then just bringing down the crease color down to my lash line para lang to open up my eyes more, basically. For my eyeliner, I'm using Curvitude from Maybelline. And this one has a really nice tip. You can make crisp lines with it. It's really nice. But I'm just going to put a thin line. It's very simple, like I said. I'm so sorry. This could be probably a very boring look, but then it's just my everyday look. Talaga. It's that simple. For mascara, I'm using Lash Extravagance from Fanny Serrano, but I'm using the Fashion 21 tip. Just coat your upper and lower lashes. I don't feel like I have to show it. And then I'm using a Falsies from Red Cherries in Wisp. Yun na yun, yun ay Sorry, I fast forwarded, but yeah. And then for contour, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow. Um contour shade right there it's perfect i love this shade i use it every time i use it quite thickly but if you do want to see a proper contour routine that i use for my you know plus size face i will post a link down below but right now i'm just kind of bronzing it around my face not really defining it for now you can stop there, but I'm going to define it even more with the H&M Blush in Taupe Brown. I super love this shade. It's crazy amazing. It's the perfect shade without making you look too muddy or too orange. And I'm just going to put it lang on the parang a small part of where I've already bronzed just to deepen it a bit more. And then I'm also contouring my nose with it because yun nga, it's a really nice shade for contouring. So don't forget, if you want to see a more specific tutorial on my contouring, I will post a link down below. H&M has really great blushes, so this is Hot Pink from them again. It's super pigmented and it will just stick on your face right away. So I'm just putting it on the middle part of my cheek, not exactly on the apple. Para naman ni mo siya ng pabebe, di ba? 
For highlight, I'm using You Glow Girl from JCAT. This is in White Goddess. It's one of my most favorite highlights ever. The beauty about this product is you can make it as potok as you want, but you can also just make it subtle. Just depending on your mood, it's up to you. So I highlight my cheeks, my nose, my inner corners, and my upper lip. Very basic. And just going to remove some of the excess lip balm that I had put earlier that day. And look, this is just my lip tattoo. It's really pretty, huh? So I'm using the Super Matte Ink and Seductress from Maybelline. I love this color. It's my perfect nude right now. And I always go back and forth with my colorette in Rio or Isla. But those three are the lipsticks that I've been using a lot lately. So that is it. This is my everyday look. It's very fresh, very simple, very easy to do. So yeah. Okay guys, so this is it. My everyday makeup look for the past two months or basically ever since December. And I've been doing the same thing and probably that's why I haven't been doing much tutorials here on my channel. And I'm really sorry but I will break this suit because I do have a lot of different palettes to play with for you guys. So this is for everyone who's been requesting this look. I know I've been posting it a lot on Instagram and I hope you like it. It's very simple, very easy to do. Please like, comment, and subscribe and pass this on to people who you know would like this look to see more of my videos please don't forget to click the post notification button don't forget to like comment and subscribe and pass this on to people who you know would want this look by the way kikai of the day is anorific congratulations just be active on my social media or comment down below if you want to be the kikai of the day for the next video and that's it i have nothing else to say and with all that said i want you guys to never forget that you are beautiful Woo! Yes guys, I have merch. This is my Maganda Ako period merch. I don't know when you're gonna watch this video, but please do know that these shirts are available in the color black and white from extra small to 3XL. So there's a wide range of sizes for you guys to choose from. You can get one for yourself. Just go to my Facebook page. The link is down in the description box. And it's it. Bye. God bless.